saw her. Uh, for the director with glass tubes containing glass beads which is covered with titanium dioxide. And water is passed through these uh, glass tubes by a parasitic pump here. And we are cleaning here contaminated water with a, a blue dye. And as you can see, this is also has a foil on the, on the back side, which uh, utilizes the back reflection so we can have illumination of solar light from both the front side and the back side. Moreover, we also have uh, four photodiodes here, so it can track the sun with these photodiodes, so it's always in the optimum position for the solar light to have as much as possible illumination of these illuminated uh, glass tubes. So as this passes through these glass tubes, uh, this uh, polluted water comes in contact with these titanium co coated uh, glass beads. And because of the light, this uh, titanium is then excited and the pro radicals produced at the surface which then attack the pollutant molecules, which then decompose and become colorless. So that's basically the principle. So this is a so-called solar photocatalysis water cleaning device and it's used in larger scale as well to clean smaller amounts of water but it's perfectly possible to clean it and both bacteria and the chemicals to drinkable water quality.